mounted by all her colleagues this morning. I call uh, Chris Farr for you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr Chair, for allowing me the opportunity to uh, speak to part two of the Taxation Annual Rates and Budget Measures Amendment Bill. Uh, this is my first contribution and, uh, as I said, part two of this bill deals uh, directly uh, with changes, the major changes that the National Government is making uh, both to Working for Families and to KiwiSaver. And yesterday when John Key finished his budget speech and as the members on the opposite side of the House uh, got up and followed the script and started uh, <laughs> smiling cla and clapping as opposed to smiling and waving, uh, they got up and you could tell, you could tell, you can guarantee that a lot of them were doing it through gritted teeth. Gritted teeth because they were worried. They were worried because they knew people at home were, were thinking, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Uh, the 1.7 million Kiwis who've signed up to KiwiSaver Kiwi were going, hang on a minute, that's not what I signed up to. That's not what I signed up to. They're, right. they're, not, the, they're, they're not the terms that I signed up to. And hang on a minute, uh, John Key said he wouldn't touch KiwiSaver. What's going on here? What is going on here with KiwiSaver? I thought that, you know, that this, this plan was solid. This, this is a plan to make sure we can save for our retirement and make sure that people can afford their first home. But what's going on here? We were told it's safe and it wasn't going to get touched. Hang on a minute. And what about working for families? Hang on a minute. John Key wasn't going to touch working for families. What's going on here? You know, that's two pretty major broken pro uh, promises that we've got in part two of, of, of this bill. And, you know, um, a lot of low- and middle-income Kiwis uh, will be saying that in their homes. We he we've seen plenty in the Dominion Post today. I think pages five and six are dedicated to families who are going to be no better off by this budget. Uh, you know, we heard uh, on Morning Report this morning, one example was Jacinda Ardern uh, uh, pointed out earlier, one person who said, that's not what I signed up to with KiwiSaver. And, you know, the last thing that the Prime Minister said, we'll see you out in the hustings. Well, bring it on. Bring it on. Because if you want to go to the people, if you want to go to the people, and if you want to go to the people and say, we're cutting working for families and we're cutting KiwiSaver, then bring it on. I'm looking forward to going to Cannons Creek and saying, hey, this government's going to cut KiwiSaver and cut working for families, but they will keep the top 10% of, of, of tax earners having their 40% tax cut. They will love it. And why? Tangirua will love it too. And you know who else will love it? Papa Kofi. They love it because they signed up to KiwiSaver. They think it's a great scheme. Papa Kofi will love it and they will say, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, what's happening here? I thought I was going to get, this is the tax credit I thought I, thought I was going to get from this government. But no, slashing in half. Slashing in half. You know, this, this is the government that they promised that would take the sharp edges off the recession. The only sharp edge we've got is that they use it to make cuts. That's all we've got from this government. So I'm looking forward to going to some of the more marginal areas of my electorate and taking votes off national because what they're doing in this budget. Taking mon money off hard-working families who are struggling to make ends meet. And a lot, of them, uh, a lot of my colleagues have been talking about the cost of living and how many families are struggling to make ends meet. And, this, and with the changes that this government is taking, making to working for families, I look forward to getting out in the hustings. Bring it on. Because many families in Mana are struggling to make ends meet. Just last week I went to the St Vincent de Paul's food bank and in the first time in nine years, Kerry, the lovely Australian lady uh, that uh, runs a the shop there, says that they've run out of food. The emergency cupboard is even, is even, uh, is even bare. And so for the first time in her nine years, she's been forced to put a sign on the, on the front of the shop saying, can we please have food? Because not only has the demand increased, the supply has run out. So, you know, there is real hurt in this community, especially in Mana, and this budget does nothing for them. So, you know, I say to, uh, I say to the members opposite, bring it on if you want to take this to the people. Bring it on, because if you're going to make 50% of the families who have signed up to Working for Families worse off, bring it on. I'm looking forward to getting out there and talking about what you're doing and how you're hurting Kiwi families. And I, can I just get back on to... Oh, point of order, Craig Foss. How it's hurting Kiwi families. Members have been pulled up on that, uh, pulling you into the discussions quite often during this uh, debate. Yeah, I thank, thank the member. Just, just and, and also, don't bring the chair under the debate. Chris OK, Martin. well, I, I should rephrase that. And how you're adversely affecting Kiwi families and making life harder for them. You're making, you're making life a lot harder no, for... No, I'm not. I'm you're not. making life... Uh, this government is making... Sorry, excuse right. me, Mr Chair. Yeah. This government... <laughs> is making life a lot harder for Kiwi families. 
And you know, I was straight out onto it this morning. I was say, uh, uh, waving signs out on State Highway 1 saying, Save Kiwi Saver. Save Kiwi Saver. Plenty of beeps. So let's bring on the election campaign because I know that, uh, uh, for one fact, that the 1.7 million Kiwis who, who have signed up to Kiwi Saver, 1.7 million. Uh, Kiwis who have signed up Ki uh, for KiwiSaver uh, won't be happy with what the government has, uh, has done. And, you know, we've had, prompt, we've had this, this, this speech or speak from uh, many members uh, on the opposite side of the House that this, this is a visionary budget. Well, I think you should go get your eyes checked. There's a, there's, there's a lot from it, Mr Chair. Mr Chair. Uh, Chris Tremaine.